Hey everybody, I'm standing with my front door wide open and a dog is in a double down at my feet, so that means one thing. We're about to take a car ride. Now, Mr. Roscoe, the Airedale Beagle Mix here, has been through private lessons with Julie way back in 2017, so he knows his commands, but what he struggles with is his state of mind when he's somewhere exciting, and that starts in the car. So, his owners want to take him out to breweries, to restaurants, downtown, to really enjoy their dog. That's why we get dogs. Uh, but the problem kind of starts when he gets in the car. He gets a little bit too excited, a little wound up. He whines without even realizing he's whining. So we want to show him and pattern in better choices to get that nice, calm behavior that we all want. To have our dog feel a little bit better inside too. So we're going to start with the car. And that starts at the front door. So I have this threshold wide open. He knows it, he sees it. But he's in a nice, patient down, waiting for the to be released. So, heel. Good boy, much better response than his old heel. So Roscoe's previous response when he got here to being told to heal or let's go was to kind of rock it ahead of the person and just start pulling. Like he, he was so conditioned to just go and just do his thing when he was told to heal, which is not what heal means. This is heel, walking behind a human at my pace. And so to kind of reteach him how to move in the heel position and what that actually means, I usually start our walks going very slowly one tiny step at a time. That really helps him check in. Then we can move on to a more natural pace and he's right in position. So we heel on up to my car with the open door and old Roscoe would just jump right in there. But new Roscoe, oh, there he goes, good boy. Goes right into a sit. Nice job. Ross, I know. Place. Let's go, you can do it. Good job, up he goes, into a down. Nice job, buddy. Now that we're actually in the car, my expectation is for Roscoe to stay in a nice calm down the entire trip. We're gonna take about a five minute drive down the road, maybe get a car wash, and then we're gonna head back. And I want this down the whole time. Does not need to be a double down the entire time, that's not realistic or fair, but he does need to stay calm. So if I see him kind of ramping up, getting excited, starting to whine, I have my e-collar remote in my hand, strapped to it, I can look in my rear view mirror, I can say no, I can tap, he should calm himself down. If I need to, I can pull over, of course, safety first, but this is my expectation the whole trip. While we wait for my car to be done, I'm going to walk around Petco a few times with my buddy, Roscoe, just seeing where he's at in his training. Still needs a lot of mind work, but overall he's doing pretty well with his commands. Oh, he was pretty good for the ride there. He was good for the car wash. He was good for the ride back. And now that we've parked at our house, he's showing us some of his uh, core issues. The root of his problem here is the anticipatory anxiety. He's learned. You get in the car, you go somewhere, you get out of the car in an excited state of mind, and you go to something exciting. So it's just being fed and rewarded. The idea that whenever we go somewhere in park, it's about to get crazy, woohoo. So we're trying to kind of re-engineer the way he thinks. Now the panting here, it's, it's a little bit of stress. It is hot in there, I understand. Uh, but we do need to address the state of mind before we can move on. So I'm gonna wait him out until he's nice and relaxed. Then I'll heal him out of the car, then heal him inside. So at no point in this journey will he be allowed to get excited or, or up his state of mind. All right, he put himself in this position. He's still hot, but I think he's ready to move on. Come. Good job. Good. Sit. Nice job. Good boy. And now we'll heal inside. Heal. 